I know we had a rough year together in 2021. But I want 2022 to start out the right way. I have big, beautiful plans for us tonight. And into the morning. I will not be sarcastic. I will not be rude to you. I will not be an a-hole. I apologize for all the things that you did not like that I did this year. And I promise that I'll do better next year. I can't wait to watch the ball drop at 12 o'clock. It will signify a brand new beginning for us as the perfect couple that we are. To show how serious I am about making you happy. I cooked dinner. All of your favorites are here. Look at this spread. I know you like my romantic side. So you don't have to talk as you take the scene all in. <laughs> you look dumbfounded or something. You didn't think I was capable of doing all this for you? Glad I can surprise you and make you happy, baby. Scented candles are already lit. I know you smell the aromatherapy in the air. I made sure the place is smelling nice for you. All of this is for you, baby. I went all out. Listen to the soft music playing in the background. Just the way you like it. Your favorite song is on right now. What do you like to dance? You look kind of weird. I don't know what you're thinking. I've never seen that look in your eyes before. Say something. You haven't said a word since you walked in here. I remember you saying I wasn't romantic enough. Do you like it all? I told you that I had a surprise for you. No half-stepping into 2022. I have a bubble bath ready for you, too. Come on. Go take your clothes off so that I can wash you. And massage your feet. Then we will eat. And get ready to make a toast at 12. Yes, that's the plan, baby. I'll give you a moment to get into the bathtub. Meet you there in like two minutes. After you are submerged in the water. It's 10.30. So we have time to do everything I planned. Then we will be ready to watch the ball drop. At Times Square in New York. Bring in the New Year's together with a toast. And a big hug and kiss. You do know whoever you bring in New Year's with is who you'll be with all year long, right? Yes, it's true. I believe it. It's been proven by us. We met at that New Year's party last year. And we're still together. Stay together as a couple all year, too. Yes, we had our ups and downs. But we always pull through the bad times. I love you so much. How's the water feeling? Is it hot enough for you, baby? Okay, perfect. I made sure it was perfect for you. So... What did you want to talk to me about that was so important that I couldn't wait until after 12? What? Who is too jealous? I'm not a jealous boyfriend. I show care and concern. How dare you call me a jealous soon, Derry? I am... I am no such thing. Plus, I've already apologized for being mean or sarcastic. Or whatever it is you were whining about. I've apologized nonetheless. 
You're doing what? You can't be serious right now. You want to be with someone else? You just told me that you loved me last week. Here it is a week later and you're saying that we need to be apart? Why would you blindside me with some BS like this? Dang, you had to do it on New Year's Eve though. I could have brought in New Year's with another girl who wants me. If that's how you felt. I didn't tell you about her because I chose you. Here I am, being romantic. Going all out for you. Man, thought I'd bring in the New Year's with my girlfriend. And this is the news you drop on me? When did you start feeling this way? You just told me you loved me when I gave you presents on Christmas. So now you don't love me. When did you start feeling this way? Answer me! I gave you all the jewelry you wanted for Christmas. You ungrateful wench! After all I do for you, this is the thanks I get? I'm literally scrubbing your back right now. I treat you so well. Wow, I'm flabbergasted. You know what? I'm not gonna beg you to be with me. I'm a man. I know my worth. He can have you. Get dressed, and be out of here by the time I get back in a few minutes. I can't believe this. You could have said all that. As, as, as soon as you came through the door! You ungrateful wench! <laughs> I guess this is what heartbreak feels like. I told you that I had a girlfriend, but I lied. I wasn't sure why you were asking, but wasn't in the mood to talk. So, yes, I'm very, I'm very single. Why? Would you like to be my girlfriend? I kind of thought that. Where's your boyfriend? Hmm, I see. His loss. The last girl I went out with had bad breath. I couldn't keep her around. I'm not being mean, but I just couldn't do it. I think she had halitosis. Either that, or something died in there. Maybe she never flossed. I don't know. I was too embarrassed to ask her about it. But talk about funky. I could have passed out. Food stuck in the teeth can be an enemy to anyone. Or maybe it came from within. I'd never know. We could be within not so close proximity, outside, and I'd still smell it. She was pretty, but I had to move on. Quickly. Her looks didn't mean a thing to me after getting a sniff of her breath. Completely turned me off. Personal hygiene is a big deal. I recommend brushing twice a day. Floss after every meal is my motto. Maybe I floss a bit too much, but it works for me. I must keep the breath fresh. Never know when a kiss might pop up. Anyway, I have a confession. I'm into teeth. I am also into lips. I think I have a mouth fetish. And great smelling breath is my weakness. I'm also into your beauty. I'm also into you, beautiful. And I want to kiss you. But I have self-control and discipline. 
For now, I just wish to talk and get to know you. I don't want to move too fast. Oh, I need to smell your breath first. I had to confess that to you up front. I don't want you to think I'm weird when I ask to smell your breath. Mm, pretty forehead. Let's take things slow. How about a kiss on the forehead? Mm, may I ask you something? Do you floss? Mm, yummy. What? Heck no, girl. I don't like your friends. So, I don't like you, either. I know that I don't know you. And I also know that I don't want to know you. Especially not be your boyfriend. What do I look like? I'm not desperate. You know what they say. Birds of a feather flock together. And it seems like your friends are all money-hungry groupies. So, that makes you a money hungry groupie. Yes, sure. You know who they are. The wise ones. You can say whatever you like. What they say seems to be true. I go by facts, not fiction. All I know is that if you're going to show me your company, I'll be able to tell exactly who you are. And the company you keep seems like bad news by the way they behave. So you can run that good girl nonsense by some simp. You've got the wrong guy, chicken head. Chicken, chicken. Chicken head? <laughs> that guy must have written that song with you and your girls in mind. You have some skinny chicken little legs, too. Need a chicken wing, girl. Get some meat on those bones. I don't want your number. <laughs> yeah, sure. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm Santa Claus. Please, save all that preaching for church. I believe what I see. And what I see is that you hang out with little skeezers. So, that makes you a little skeezer too. Hmm. You're too skinny for me anyway. You'll need to eat a couple of burgers or something. Have a few Snickers here and there. Fatten up a little bit. Then holler back at me when you get 10 or 20 pounds. I hear you. <laughs> you talk a good game, boo. But I'm not buying it. You and your little team of peasants need to flee. We're into classy girls. Not poor little thotties looking for a come up. I need a girlfriend, not a jump off. Uh huh. Now you're you talking. You're cute though. You are not ugly at all. But brains come before outward beauty for me, cutie pie. I'm talking about the brains inside of your head. Not the type I see your friends offering my boys. Hmm. Well, if you're so different, why are you even associating with known scallywags? Yeah, okay, I hear you. How different are you? Prove it to me then. Talk is cheap. I'm from the show-me state. Prove your case, and I'll give you a fair shot at my heart since you're so persistent. You really act like you know what you want. Let's talk about your future plans, goals, and aspirations. Stuff like that. Come with some whack combo about clothes, shoes, hair, and nails, and I'll drop you like a hot potato. Alright. Okay, cool. I like your personality. 
That definitely stands out more than your skinny legs. <laughs> I have a playful side. Since you want me so bad, I guess you're my girlfriend now. You'll have to cut those girls off, though. Can't have you out here looking like them. Oh, come on, get in. Let's ride out. You fat, obnoxious bloke. Why did you eat my cake and ice cream? Don't apologize, you bloody idiot. Dang it, honey. I told you not to eat my snacks. Never eat my favorite snacks. There is celery. If you don't want celery, Eat carrots. Eat an apple. Some berries. A banana. There are other things you can choose from. But no. You went straight to my cake and ice cream. You know what I think? You should be eating fruits and vegetables. I love you. But. Look in the mirror. Seriously. Look at yourself. Look at your chin. Look at your belly. Looks like you've gained at least 20 pounds since we've been together. When was the last time you exercised? We used to work out together every day. We met at the gym for crying out loud. I work out every day. And you never join me anymore. I exercise right here in your face at home. Yet, you still never take part. Have you thought about lifting a finger to do anything other than eat lately? Jeez. How much more of this can I take? Is the question in my head. I'm not willing to take much more of this fat laziness, darling. You either stop eating sweets altogether, or I'm done. You either start exercising with me, or I'm done. Your choice. I could see you were eating healthy, then having a sweet snack every now and then. But my goodness, my love. You do this all the time, then you refuse to work out. Do you want to become sick? You can start suffering from a number of illnesses if you keep this up. Heart disease, diabetes, obesity. The list can go on and on. Do you want that for yourself? I care about you. I love you. And I care for your health. You are killing yourself. Slowly. Look, my sweet, sweet honey, I motivate you with my lifestyle. You see me living a clean, healthy life. I love you. I love you, but this has to stop. What can I do to help? I think we can get through this together. I have an idea. Stop eating my snacks, okay? Just eat what I eat, except for the cake and ice cream. Work out when I work out. Get back to how beautiful you were when we first met. I love you, princess. Stupidity is not sexy. God gave you a brain for thinking. Please use it to think. You do some of the dumbest stuff sometimes. It's almost like your brain is not functioning. 
Why is he helping you do something that easy? I think I see what's happening here. You like attention. You probably crave the attention of another guy. A tall guy. Am I not enough for you? I didn't know you were attracted to tall guys. If that's what you want, we can break up. I'm as tall as I'm going to be. If you want to see if the grass is greener on the other side, be my guest. I do not care. I don't even care. And you know how much I don't care? I'll just get another girl who thinks my farts don't stink. I'll get another girlfriend who thinks short is sexy. He has his own work to do. Why is he taking time to help you? You don't need help. If I see him helping you again, it's over between us. You are risking our relationship. You are risking it all just for some help. I can help you. I can help better than him. Wh why would you even accept help from someone else, idiot? I would be much happier if another girl was helping. But if you want attention from another boy, then fine. Do whatever you want. Don't expect me to stick around, though. I feel like you're trying to make me jealous. Since I'm not the jealous type of guy, it's not working. Honey, I'll help you from now on. Please stay away from other people who have what I have between their legs. It's best for our relationship. I want what's best for our relationship that you wanted so bad. Guys will tell you whatever it takes to make you feel special. But they don't really mean it. They just want your panties. I'm not that type of guy. I'm the best type of boy for you. As you already know, I'm not jealous. Look at me. I'm handsome. I'm always here for you. I'm helpful. Why would I even be jealous? I love you for what's on the inside. Your heart and mind, my main focus. That's why I'm so good for you. So don't be a thirsty idiot around other guys anymore and reject all help from them. That's what's best for our relationship. And never, ever, a tall guy. Don't push me into the arms of another female. I am not getting jealous. Hey, hey, hey there, guys. Quickly, before this video ends, go check out my music. Link will be in the description and in the comment section below. Soon to be on all platforms. Take care. Everyone calls me Noranian. I'm not Noranian. I'm just a regular boy who likes regular girls. I may be a bit rude to everyone, but at least I'm nice and kind to the people that I love. You know, you really set me off sometimes. You are wasting time. What are you doing? There is no time to whittle your thumbs. When will you be finished with my homework? This assignment is due in 45 minutes. Thinking. You're thinking? Thinking while my homework is going to be late if it's not completed in 45 minutes. Jeez, stupid. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. It's not rocket science, it's biology. Gosh dang it. Why am I even around you? 
You can be so worthless at times. You were lucky you have a crush on me, or I wouldn't even allow you to do my homework, geek. You get special passes since you do. Most definitely have a crush on me. Get focused, stop thinking, and just get it done, please. You are really smart, but slow at the same time. I do not understand you sometimes. You should be smart and fast, not smart and slow. A turtle moves faster than you, but your brain works like a genius. I... I have a confession. Do not tell anyone. Swear to secrecy. Repeat after me. I solemnly swear... To keep all confessions... And all secrets shared... And will never... Repeat anything I hear today. So help me God. Okay, great. Tell anyone, and I'll kick your gluteus maximus. Okay, here it goes. I think your smarts happen to be sexy. I have a fetish for being around nerdy, smart girls like you. I keep you around all the time for a reason. Not only because you have a crush on me. Not only because you do my homework. But I have a bigger crush on your smart brains. Your intellect makes me jealous. I don't want to see you around other boys anymore. I'm a sapiosexual. And I... 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 I find you attractive and arousing. I get off on watching you do my homework and schoolwork. You are such a turn-on. Maybe one day we can cuddle. Do not tell anyone about my fetish. If you do, I'll have to replace you with another nerd. And that's after kicking your... you know what. Hurry up and finish my assignment. I have to turn it in in like ten more minutes. I want to be nice to you. So, when I'm being nice, do not take it for weakness. Now that you know how I feel about you, do not try to take advantage. I love you, nerd. All we do is cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. I'm ready to take it to the next level. My other friends have already gone to second base with their girlfriends. Some have already gone to third, too. And even fourth. Yes, I know I'm not one of them. And I know you're not their girlfriends. Tell me something I don't know. Trust me, I don't want to be them. I know who I am. I'm the man with the master plan. I have a few ideas for us, cuddle girl. Well, um... <clears throat> a few things we can do. I, um, I was thinking... <clears throat> Second base doesn't sound too bad. What do you mean by that? You want to keep a smile on my face, don't you? Okay then, I want to keep a smile on your face too. That's why I cuddle you every time you want to cuddle. Do I not do that? Is that not what you always want? Okay then. I do what it takes to make you happy. But, what about my happiness? Well, yeah, I'm happy. I could be happier. I, um... 
I have a few things in mind, and I need you to be open-minded. For one, <clears throat> we haven't even kissed yet. Do you know how many girls would like to kiss me? Look at these lips. Just kissable. Well, um, I, I mean, get real. Not really. Those little pecks on the cheek don't really count. Hugs? Are you serious? Hugs. Come on now. Hugs definitely do not count. I hug strangers. You are my girlfriend. So hugs are automatic. Look, I want kisses. Real kisses. Not on the cheek. Not on the forehead. Not the hand. Well, um... Um, you're making this difficult. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't play dumb with me. I mean the real deal. Real kissing. We have been French kissed, tongue kissed, whichever one you like to call it. We have not done it. I want to mix and swap saliva. I want to feel your tonsils on my tongue. I want to bite your lips. You get my drift. Well, um, yes. Yes, I enjoy spending time with you. Yes, I enjoy your hugs. Yes, I enjoy cuddling with you. I love cuddling with you. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But all we do is cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. That's all you ever want to do. I just want more. I want more. <laughs>